So I think it might be helpful for someone if they're listening and have no idea who these black Hebrew Israelites are. Could you talk a little bit like what this movement is and like kind of like the basics of what their beliefs are? Sure, sure. Uh, well, the basics, uh, like if you're just, I would say to summarize it, they are legalists. They believe that in order to be in, in right standing with God, you have to keep all of the laws of the Old Testament. I'm talking about the dietary laws, the Levitical laws, the high holy days. Everything minus sacrifices, which is weird, right? Because if you're going to abide by all the law in the Old Testament, that's part of it. But um, so a black Hebrew Israelite believes that you need to keep all of the commandments and statutes and laws that were given in the Old Testament in order to be saved. Mm -hmm. And so that's hence the, the title Judaizer, because that's what Paul is preaching to individuals who are trying to subvert the Christian church and trying to tell them that they have to go back to the laws of Moses in order to be saved. So that's kind of them in a nutshell. Of course, they are very nationalistic in saying that the only people that can make it to heaven are black, Hispanic and Native American. Everybody else is a child of the devil and they're not going to make it into the kingdom. Uh, but that's not all groups. Some groups kind of divert from that a little bit. Some say, well, you no, know, Gentiles who they call Gentiles can be saved, but they have to be saved through Israel. In other words, only we can teach. Only we are the true children of Israel. You guys have to go come through us. So basically, in a sense, it kind of makes they try to make themselves the mediator. And of course, it depends on who you're talking to and what group.